gentlemen, let me take you to the fair city of Verona, where tonight we reenact the play of Romeo and Juliet. Tonight, we change this from the simple drab driveway garage that we have to old Capulet's mansion and a fabulous party where Romeo, beautiful, gorgeous, young Romeo, falls in love with a translucent and beautiful Juliet. Watch now as they fall in love. If I profane with my unworthiest hand, this holy shrine, the sin is this. My lips do blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Go pilgrim, you do wrong, your hand to much, which readily devotion shows you in this. With strength of hands that fog our hands do touch, and palm palm is holy palmer's kiss. Then move not, will my prayer's effect I take. Then have my from lips, my lips by yours, my sin is purged. Then have my lips, the sin that they have took. Sin from thy lips, O oh, trespass sweetly urge. Give me my sin again. Juliet! Who was you on your anger night in me? She a Capulet? And that brings us to later this evening, when Romeo spies his way back into Capulet's mansion and greets Juliet beneath her balcony. Let's watch and see what happens. What light yonder window breaks? It is the east and Juliet is the sun. And me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, worse than Romeo. Call me but love and I'll be new baptized. If they see thee, they will murder thee. I have no cloak to hide me from their sight, but but thou love me, let them find me here. <laughs> and the next morning finds them wedded in true happiness bliss at the Friars Cathedral. But all is not well, for truly, Tybalt. Juliet's cousin spied Romeo at Capulet's party and is now duty-bound to challenge him. So let's go to Verona Beach, where Tybalt, Juliet's cousin, sees Mercutio, Romeo's cousin, and inquires about Romeo's presence. Let's watch as, Rome as Mercutio dies. Mercutio, where is Romeo? Here I am. I have a quarrel with thee. Tybalt, you rat catcher. What woods do you have with me? Nothing but one year, nine lives. I am for you. Oh! <laughs> Tybalt, fire-eyed fury be my conduct now. <sighs> I am fortune's fool. His punishment? Banishment. To Mantua. But what a poor Juliet. For Juliet is back at Capulet's mansion, where, unbeknownst to them, they have already promised to the loving and dashing Paris. However, Juliet will have none of this. She has promised to Romeo and is now wedded. Let us go to Juliet's bedroom, where we find what happens when her father finds out. She gives you grace, but will have none. You are not thankful. Not proud you have, but thankful that you have. But can I never be of what I hate? But thankful you move for a hate that is not love. You will marry Paris. Good father, I beseech your mercy. You be patient, but to speak the word. Get thee to the church on Thursday. And poor Juliet, so distraught and upset, goes to the friar who gives her a suitably desperate plan. He will give her a tonic, which will make her appear as if dead for 10 days. She will drink it. And then lie in old Capulet's mansion as if she was dead. Then the friar will send a letter to Romeo and he will tell, her, he will tell him, come quick, your, Ro your Juliet's waiting. Sadly, the letter will never reach poor Romeo. Let us go now to Mantua, 
where Romeo is greeted by his friend Balthazar. rushes back to Old Capulet's monument, where he finds his Juliet, as if in the grip of death. And, with the potions given to him by the apothecary, Romeo takes his own life. Let us watch and see what happens. Oh, my love, my wife. Even death has no power over your beauty, for you are beautiful still. I will lie with you tonight in worry. dies. Go no more and talk of these sad things. Some will be pardoned, some shall be punished. For never was a tale of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wow. <laughs>